Welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the main menu, so you can join me for the experience of finding out where the last checkpoint was. Will it be right before the fight with that oven golem? Or will we have to see me trudge through the watery uh, corridors for a third time? Dum -dum -dum. Yesterday was a bit of a mess for me. I didn't get any sleep the night before the last, so it's a good thing I had episodes 3 and 4 recorded ahead of time. I had a full night's sleep last night, though, so don't worry, I'm totally on top of my game. You guys, Craig? It's something new for us, isn't it? First one I've ever seen. Some type of highly focused anthropomorphic animator. An entity which attracts familiar objects to itself with the materially manifest phrase. It's generating a field of attraction so strong that it's able to reassemble its component parts. Oh! Oops, wrong bumper. This one! Oh, God damn it, Peter! Get out of my way! I mean, you're a hero and everything. But I'm the protagonist here. Okay. Fuck! Thanks, Egon. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to cross the streams. I'm trying to use the capture uh, beam, but it isn't working. Oh shit! He's right under it. Losing strength. Keep tearing it down. How'd you get over here? Ah! And I'm running! Come here, beam is all pink! Give me that! Oh, his arm is made of fish! Sorry. Trying not to. Actually, I totally am trying. I might have been trying to cross the streams uh, last time, like this. Ah! Wrangle it away. There's a screenshot for you. Ah, oh, my organs. Get up, rookie. For great justice! Randall it away! Randall back! Why isn't it working? Randall it back! Oh shit! Yes! Get in there, you bastard! I thought I'd be had knives and forks flying at me, but when knives and forks become a big angry giant, that's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? <laughs> Anybody here from Zetamore? Outside, and so is something else. 
No. I missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's me. It's clean and soft and white. And you all aren't going to like it. No! This is not possible. Not here, not now. Not again! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, curse you, loading screen. You're killing all the drama. Dum dum. I was just amusing myself by trying to make that face. Colon, lowercase o. Take a drink of water since nothing's happening. Ah, I swear it. <laughs> Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? Ray, weren't you going to finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? Sounds untestable. Tacky and exciting. I'm in. But will it work? Against the minions of a god? That was never the intent. But in theory, I suppose it's right. But a muon trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. Uh -huh. And why would that stop guys that don't know anything? Yeah, man. What are we? The FDA? We'll have hey, to clear a path through this mess first. I'm glad you grew the uh, mustache back. He was clean shaven in Ghostbusters too, and I didn't like it as much. Oh, clear a path through this mess. That means me, doesn't it? Oh, good luck. The, the controller is just going nuts every time he moves. Scan him! He's not in the guy! Get moving! This residue is animated! Lord, help us! Stay calm to somehow hatching these... Mi uh... Marshmallow minis? Class 5 Manifesting Outworlder. Uh, corporeal dispersible. Melee, rush, ra and range. Weakness, boson dart. Hmm. Spawn, sp uh, special. Spawn of Stay Puffed. These class 5 entities are the mischievous spawn of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. The not-so-tasty blend of corn syrup, water, gelatin, tetrasodium pho uh, pyrophosphate, and evil. So for those of you who don't remember the first movie, uh, at the end of it, Gozer the Destructor comes to Earth. Uh, an ancient Babylonian demon god, and uh, it demands that the Ghostbusters choose the form with which it will consume the world, and they all try to empty their minds, but uh, Ray uh, screws up and finds that he can't think of nothing, so he tries to think of the most harmless thing in the world, and that's the mascot for a brand of marshmallows that he has fond childhood memories of. <laughs> so, poof. 300 foot tall Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man destroying the city. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can uh, rest in peace anymore, but at least you're not going to be hurting anybody, Pappy. Minions from well, there's paranormal physiology for you. I will suffer from this coming from you. Nabble some little yarpers! Yeah. I bet this place smells really good right now. I usually say that sarcastically, but I mean it. They're made of marshmallow. Blow these tires. 
Nope, can't pick that up. Hey, more trouble! Oh, good. Multiple class five FRB inbound. Hobo ghost. Class five free roaming vapor. Is that what it said? What Slimer? No, full roaming vapor. Whatever. Uh, I think this is the Proton Stream. I, I gu I'm guessing these were basically the bellhop ghosts now that we're not in the uh, hotel anymore. The big city can take a toll on people, especially those in the fringes of society. And New York is no exception. Many of its wanderers and outcasts have met unfortunate ends, and some of those still remain, attempting to extend these unfortunate ends to others. You know, I, I, I was thinking about it when I was going over the footage from uh, episode 4, where, you know, where I died from the, uh, the candle monsters. I don't think anyone actually died in either of the Ghostbusters movies. You know, like they blew up Gozer at the end of the first movie, and they banished Vigo back to hell at the end of the second one. But Gozer was a demon god, and Vigo was already dead. So, uh, I don't think any human uh, bought it in either movie. You know, like, in the second movie, there's that scene in the courtroom where the ghost picks up the prosecution's lawyer and carries her out the door. But then, when they're doing the, like, the, uh, the credit roll at the end, and they're showing the cast, they had a special scene inserted, and they credited her, showing her with her hair all frazzled up talking to paramedics, just so you know that she was okay afterwards. Use Ecto-1 Super Slammer Trap to instantly trap ghosts. Sorry, don't want to damage that car. Ah, oh, fuck! Guys! So, worth mentioning. Gotta get over to the car. Yes! I'm right with the Throw all the ghosts you capture at the slab. You can relinquish your handheld unit. Oh. Winston! Oh, uh, Ray? Can you stop? No, not if you're in for old friend. I dreaded you when you were alive. You were. Oh, because he doesn't like homeless people. Ha! I see what you did there. I will scan the, uh... Oh, well, I'm almost dead. Shit. Oh, right. Uh, monies. I thought I had that. Let's get this. This seems really useful. Increases Ghost Wrap Drawdown Rate. Oh, I thought it... I, oh, we did get this one last time. Huh. I wonder if it went away when I died. Oh, oh, what? So in the afterlife, guys? B doesn't feel like a good, very good run, bud. Yeah. Well, you stop the car there, at least. Yeah. Sorry, you have. Look out! Above you! You play hardball, Rook! I'm from New York, man! You're only encouraging them. Baker, we need to have a talk about power. We're detecting <coughs> something significant behind us. What is that? Am I hearing wings? 
No. Shit. Class six. Multiple combats. Wait for it now. Corporeal, dispersible. Well, thank God for that. Uh, throw, rush, proton stream, wrangle, slam. Created with normal stone gargoyles are inhabited by powerful ghost world entities. These class six kinetic animators possess all of the inherent strength of their original stone, fortified by a large dose of PK energy. Stone gargoyles are strong and dangerous, but also susceptible to taking impact damage. All class six creatures are openly hostile to humanity, and great care must be taken be made when dealing with them to minimize the risk of uh, innocent lives. Fuck. Let's try to see if there's any other class six. Oh, yeah, that was a class six. Right. Oh. You can just slam them right away. Ghosts and gargoyles. A game we played when I was in the seminary. Ghosts and gargoyles. What dink game didn't you play? Do you have your eight-sided dice with you? What the? Construction worker ghost. I like the shades. Uh... No, these guys are basically the bellhops. The other ones are stronger. Skyscraper and bridge construct uh, skyscraper and bridge construction crews. Brave souls that, since the evolution of the Manhattan skyline, have met their fates in terrible accidents. They've fallen from great heights, been crushed by swinging steel, drowned in vats of settling concrete, and scalded by hot pitch. The city is built on the bones of these victims of on-the-job construction accidents. Now they've all found new careers in deconstruction. Sorry, I didn't realize it was that serious. You stay out of this. Keep your shirt on. Somebody will show up. Oh, things aren't going good here. Ah! I really hope there's a health upgrade or something. Oh, that's both the other guys. Peter! That was Peter's fault. He was just standing there. Fucking AI. It's worth mentioning, um... There are quite a few different versions of this game. Of Ghostbusters, the video game, I mean, not just d different Ghostbusters games. Uh, for starters, there's one on the Wii, which is completely different from this one. You know, as was often the case with games that appeared on both the, uh, you know, last generation consoles and the Wii. Oh, it's Marshmallow. And, uh... I, I, I don't really know much with the Wii version, except that it comes with the, uh, the co-op mode. I'm detecting something significant. That's not too far back, I guess. Behind us. What is that? Am I here... Let's see. Well, that's, there's that.
Yeah, so there's the uh, Wii version, which is a different game. And if I remember correctly, yeah, it has a, a two-player mode. And if I remember correctly, and if I remember correctly, you can uh, choose whether the rookie is a uh, man or a woman. Uh, the Xbox 360 and the PS3 games are basically this one. Uh, but there's a multiplayer mode. Like this game, you, know, you saw the main menu. There is no multiplayer mode in the PC version of this game. Uh, but the the uh, the console versions for the 360 and the PS3 have uh, they have a competitive. I don't know if it's competitive multiplayer mode, but they have a multiplayer mode where you know you and a bunch of other Ghostbusters face off against uh, waves of ghosts. At the very least, I know that much. And you can play as the uh, different characters. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I remember, I vaguely remember one of the pre-order bonuses was that when you were in multiplayer mode, your proton pack would be gold, which is just silly. Um, so, yeah, there's, uh, you know, there's that. If uh, that kind of thing interests you, I would definitely uh, recommend avoiding the PC version, because for whatever reason, they took that out. I heard the multiplayer mode is actually kind of good. You know, uh, on GameSpot, the the PC version lost a whole point uh, out of ten because they didn't have the multiplayer mo mode from the console version. Ghosts and Gargoyles. A game we played when I was in the seminary. Ghosts and Gargoyles. What dink game did you Dink is such a 1990s thing to say. Come on, come on. Gotta get this guy before the gargoyles show back up. That's a whole lot of what ever. Okay! That went significantly better than last time. I gotcha. Where to go, Greenhorn? Based off that one in Pittsburgh. I'm here. Ow! You dumbass! I'll show you, or I'll get knocked down and die. Sorry, Winston. Ugh. Oh! I'm on my way! Behind you! It's okay! Look in the face! I didn't mean to shoot you in the face! Look! Oh. Ah! God damn it, Peter! I don't want to be in the same situation as last time. On the right! Hey, hold it here. Okay, uh, guess the sequence needs to still be going. I'm just gonna stick this guy in the tank, and then call it a video. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Both... <laughs> Let's Both. Keegan isn't even here, and I'm still feeling his presence. Um... <laughs> I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. When I try to get out of old habits, and uh, try to get over there and apparently help Winston, who seems to be down. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.